Hello, beautiful human beings of the internet. I'm Lauren Elizabeth and I'm a fraud. Yeah, that's right. I'm a fraud. You want to know why? I'll tell you. Because I don't do cardio, okay? I can't. I literally can't. I know all the millennials say I can't, but like I genuinely can't, okay? I mean, technically like my body's probably capable, but it hurts and I don't like it and I just cannot do it. I can do Soul Cycle because it's fun and it's distracting. But if someone says run on a treadmill, I will last probably 60 seconds before I'm like convinced I'm dying. I'm so excited because I'm partnering up with Lifesum again to show you guys some of my favorite features on their app and show you guys how I track my workouts on their app. I've been using Lifesum for three months and I love it because it's a nutrition focused app. It's not like a weight loss app. There are some amazing programs in the premium section that I upgraded right when I downloaded the app and I sent an email and I was like, oh my God, I love the premium version, let's get a code. So obviously I got you guys a code because I'm the best, yeah. Okay, that's just me affirming myself because like sometimes I don't feel the best, okay? So if you guys want to upgrade to the premium version with all the features that I love and I'm gonna talk about throughout this video, there is a code and a link down below that you can use to upgrade as well. But cardio is such an important part of working out because it really helps you get a good sweat in, really get a good detox in, burn some extra calories. It's really good for your heart rate, get the heart rate up, your adrenaline, your endurance. And especially if you're trying to like shed off a few pounds or lose weight or whatever it is, you really need cardio. So I figured out some ways with my trainer to show you guys some no cardio cardio hacks because I think there's ways that you can really get your heart rate up, get a good sweat in, and it's not as much strength training, it's more of like a cardio, um, like a HIIT workout almost, but it's not as boring as run running on a treadmill. First, for no cardio cardio, we have jump squats. I'm someone with no butt, no butt at all. So squats for me are always a little hard, but as long as I'm focusing on my form, making sure I'm really engaging my core, getting nice and low and really controlled, these are good to really get your heart rate up and get going. So everything we do, we time and we do it till we fatigue ourselves. Instead of doing like 25 reps or whatever it is, we just time it, whether it's 30 seconds, 45 seconds, you can build up the amount of time you do as you get stronger and your endurance gets better. Nice and light on the toes. Good. So we do jump squats for about 30 seconds, which sounds easy, but as you can see, it's not. There it is. Nice, so you stay nice and low, light on the toes. Breathe. Jump squats are great because you're engaging your core, you're using your legs. Jumping in general is just a great way of cardio. People jump rope, people do jumping jacks. It's just a really good like, oof, 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 oof. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? That's why my trainer is a part of this video because clearly I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me just tell you, it gets my heart rate up. So that's all you need to know. Next is high knees. So this is almost like sprinting slash running in place. And it's for me a little more fun because it's more controlled and I get to focus on my form. Whereas like running, I'm just so focused on literally running and how much I hate it. So with high knees, like I said, the same thing, you engage your core and it, Kind of reminds me of cheerleading from back in the day, so it makes me like really want to like have good form and get my knees right. If your endurance is rather low, I would say try to stay more controlled and get 30 seconds of high knees done. Or if you have more endurance, you can do this more as a sprint instead of a run. So you can really do high knees, high knees controlled. But if you're not there yet, I would just focus on like getting it going. So we kind of switch off. We'll do just a controlled high knees for 30 seconds go through the circuit, come back and do like one sprint of high knees, like really, really fast for 30 seconds. And then the last one do regular as well. All this stuff sounds like it's super simple, but honestly it gets the job done. Your heart rate gets up, you're breaking a sweat and you're distracted by the form and the control of the exercises. And so you're not really focused on the cardio aspect. What I like to do in the Lifesum app is I like to especially keep track of my water during my workout because it's so easy to chug water during your workout, which is obviously amazing because we need so much water per day, as you can see. It's so simple, but it's one of my favorite parts of the Lifesum app because it's so cute too. I mean, like I wanna fill up the little water cups. I'm a freak, it's fine. I always make sure during my workout, I'm keeping track of my water intake so that I know for the rest of the day how much water I need to keep drinking because it's so easy to be just so focused on working out that you're like, wait, how much water did I drink this morning during my workout? I don't know, I blacked out because I hate working out, you know what I mean? So make sure you're tracking your water, just do a little boop, 
I've only literally had one cup of water today, so that's an issue. The next thing is mountain climbers. And although this is kind of like an ab exercise, if you're doing these the right way and super, super fast, it's basically cardio. You're running in really nice form. So you go in the plank position, you wanna make sure you're even keeled, even level, engaging your abs, and you're just sprinting with your legs. You're just sprinting, 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 sprinting. And it's hard. Uh, push up position. Hands right underneath the shoulders. Uh, start with one knee in. And you're gonna lie on the toes and you're gonna like basically run. There you go. Abs tight, lengthen the spine, drop the shoulders. There it is. Perfect. So like I said, you wanna time yourself, try 20 seconds, try 30 seconds, try 45 seconds, and see what you can do. But you really wanna make sure your shoulders are down, your abs are engaged, and you're bringing your knees up as high as you can, you're just sprinting in place. And then lastly, speed skaters. These are super fun because you feel like you're an Olympian. And I know deep down, I probably could have gone to the Olympics if I trained for anything, you know what I mean? It's just all about like sticking to it. Like when you're young, whatever your parents put you in, just like try to like keep doing it because you might get really good. But you know, we're, I was a rebellious teen, so I quit everything, it's fine. There goes my gold medal. Speed skaters, you really wanna focus. I'm gonna let my trainer probably explain this one more, but it's really easy because you wanna focus on a short space and not like looking like a crazy person, just really engaged, really in control, and going just really fast. Speed skating, speed skating, speed skating. So you're gonna step low through the hip, right? So when you're stepping low through the inside of the foot, if your foot, the weight rolls to the outside of the foot, you're gonna fall over. So okay. it's just like nice and short and quick burst. Okay. So even shorter than that. Good. Hands can just do it. There you go. Look at that. Woo! The next Olympian, Lauren, Elizabeth. Oh, go for gold. Get it. Drive, drive. And this is a great no cardio cardio workout because you're really engaging different muscles that you would if you were doing something similar to a speed skate, but you're staying in place and you're in control and you're more focused on your form than you are on the fact that you're doing cardio. So it's really great. So all these exercises are basically things that you're doing in a controlled environment, that you're engaging your core, that you're really focusing on the form of these exercises, but they're all specific to like a lot of movement and getting your heart rate up, really breaking a sweat and getting in a version of cardio that kind of accomplishes the same thing. Obviously nothing's the same as just going on a run, but not all of us love going on a run. So I decided to put these exercises together with my trainer to really show you guys that you can get your heart rate up and do something that's gonna like make you sweat it out a little more, burn a little extra calories, instead of just doing like a static arm raise or something like that. Really just like get you moving all over the place. And if you do each of these exercises for 20 seconds and then you rep repeat them two to three times, you're gonna get an amazing workout. It's not gonna take you too long and you're gonna be schwitzing. I mean sweating. And then after you're done working out, you go to your Lifesome app and you just add exercise. And what I do is I use a HIIT workout because that's what my trainer said is basically equivalent. And you can really just keep track of, you can really just, you can really just keep track of how many minutes you're doing all these things, especially since we're not focused on reps, we're focused on timing it. It comes in handy when you wanna add exercise and then you just add it in, hit interval training, running, and however many minutes you're doing it. Circuit training is similar for when you're doing like ab exercises and all that stuff. So that's how I figured out how to keep track of my workouts and it's super helpful because then I know when I go to like make breakfast or whatever, I know how many calories and all that stuff that I have left. My experience has been so amazing with Lifesum because it's really kept me on top of my goals. Honestly, my goals were super simple and it was just the fact of like getting back into my healthy lifestyle. I really just kind of like took a break and was just so focused on other stuff that I wasn't paying attention to the nutrients in my food. I wasn't paying attention of how many times a week I was working out. And on the premium version, they have all these amazing plans. One of my favorites is not only the three week weight loss program, but also the clean eating. It's so great because I'm obsessed with clean eating. I think it's the best way to feel good. And so it has some amazing recipes and it makes it so easy and it tells you everything you need, gives you great instruction. And my favorite is it's all the nutritional information. So I'm someone who I don't like to focus on calories. I like to focus on the nutrients and what I'm really putting in my body and making sure it's fuel and that it's good for my skin and that it's good for my gut and all that stuff. So I highly recommend the clean eating plan, especially if you've never tried eating clean before. This will really help you. It gives you shopping lists. It helps you grocery shop. It really breaks down all the recipes 
and it just makes you feel so good. And so combined with some of these workouts that I'm telling you, if you download the Lifesum app, you can learn so much from this app because of all their amazing features. It's not just a calorie tracking app at all. It's super nutrition focused and it has all these amazing plans. You can even take a test to find what plan works for you. Or you can just go and browse the recipe section, which is sometimes what I do when I'm like, I don't know, I'm a rebellious gal. If I get put on a plan, I'm like, I don't know, I do I have to follow everything? So it's really nice to be able to just like go and find a snack or whatever and get inspired of what you wanna make for dinner and it really helps you get in the kitchen and start cooking up clean, fresh meals. So make sure you check the description box below so you can try Life Sum. It seriously has been such a game changer for me in getting back on track. I feel so good, good enough to finally film workout videos for you guys because that took a while because I was a mess and now, I got it all unlocked, baby. Let's go. So that was your no cardio cardio. If you want more workout videos, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for even more, and comment below what you want to see next. Make sure you're following me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, the whole shebang. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed doing your no cardio cardio. We'll see you guys later. Bye.